Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you that Eric streams Minecraft Mysteries and his and his videos with his friends. I'm going to show you that his videos of these mysteries are lies, and that, or at least one particular video, and that, or at least one section and stuff. Actually, no, not just that. And that his whole entire that his whole entire well, that's whole entire. Okay, what am I doing? I gotta, I gotta get myself together. And that his his videos with his friends are staged. Anyway, yeah, I'll leave you to the rest of the video. Okay, so this is the footage. I'm a couple seconds ahead and stuff. So yeah, basically I am going to be getting into the loading screen stuff in a couple seconds. Probably already have. <sighs> accidentally recorded the first thing and I accidentally made the wrong recording. So anyway, yeah. The wrong recording. What do you mean wrong recording? Okay. I accidentally pushed the... Uh, yeah, I kind of accidentally put this, the wrong seat in. <coughs> anyway. So yeah, I immediately turn around, find a... Oh, that's okay. A uh, buried treasure. It seems like normal loot and stuff. In the end, yeah, I kind of explore the forest and stuff. Look out to the ocean. Notice a strange thing sticking out of it. Didn't decide to go after it, though. I look around the ocean thinking, this is kind of a similar spawn. I accidentally, if you want to know why I'm recording this, I accidentally had myself muted because I've been working on the final, the finale of Stick Tournament 1, part 5, I think? Anyway, yeah, I found this trail ruins and I actually had forgotten up till now that they existed because they're so unimportant and I never looked for them, actually. So I've never been through trail ruins, like, in, like, probably almost a year. I found them once in the Nintendo Switch and stuff, and, yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't really use the sound recording to... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Anyway, yeah, so, so far, absolutely no signs of any repeating terrain generation that I had seen up to this point. Yeah, so, pretty normal looking overworld, and I, yeah, I, why does this keep happening? Why do I keep dropping things? Yeah, you can tell that I'm actually recording this and not cutting things. Well, I did cut that one. Well, actually, I didn't really cut it out, I deleted it. Well, I was, I'm about to delete it whenever I finish this recording. Old sound recording because the stupid. Um, never mind, I'm done talking. No, I'm not. I gotta keep doing it. Anyway, yeah, I find a. I almost said a spaceship. A ship? Yeah. Not much else to say about that. It's just sticking out of the water. Seems like a totally normal spawn. Right? Well, as you can see, or as you're about to be able to see, I go to the end in a couple seconds, or a thousand years, depending on how long it takes for my screen to load this stuff, and for your screens to load, because, the, let's be honest, this is probably going to be so I don't know why, it's probably because I have three things open right now, for whatever reason. Anyway, I build the end portal, and I light all the frames, and I go into the end. Now, I don't know why, I, why do I, I still have the screen recorder open, I'm gonna close that. And I don't need the files open. All I need is these two things. So I go into the end, I break, why is it so light? Is this, this is actually the whole video recording thing. So it's, it was like really, really laggy. So I killed the Ender Dragon, and interestingly, I'm thinking that the end was the exact same spawn, 
the, at least in the exact same end spawn. But the overworld doesn't match up with the overworld he spawned in. Which has led me to believe that he... Well, actually, I'll save that for whenever I finish telling you about what I'm doing. If it wouldn't take so stupid long. Anyway, I kind of looked through this thing and I was kind of confused. Now I killed a whole bunch of overworld creatures, some eyes of Ender, and, and the turtle, of all things. A, sp a couple spiders, even cows, even a witch. Yeah, I killed a whole lot of things. Oh, well, now it's starting to get more smooth, the recording is. At least on my end. Yeah, anyway. I got in, and interestingly, you spawn on top of a course fruit. But then I realized, yep, the outer end islands do have repeating patterns. This is quite interesting, because the repeating patterns actually do some crazy stuff. Firstly, as I kind of went on, I accidentally kind of forced my terrain stuff to reload. I went back in the direction I had been heading. Uh, back to... The, yeah, I went back to the direction I didn't think it doesn't mean I went the opposite way or whatever. Anyway, I w uh, continued in the direction I was going to go, and I found, interestingly, that, indeed, there is not just repeating small end islands, but even repeating end portal things, end gateways or whatever, that will lead you back to the end island. On top of that, I found not one, not two, not three, not four, but five, not even five, I found six end cities on this path. And just a buttload of gateways. There were so many end gateways that I found. There was just a ton. So I can confirm, indeed, that this does have repeating terrain generation. Which is actually kind of surprising, how to think of it. Because this is, at least according to UI stream, I didn't actually look at the report. But this is supposed to be the seed... Where he was, where Entity 303 was first found. And, yeah. Interestingly enough, that seed does have repeating terrain generation. Now, be, keep in mind that this stuff does happen in Minecraft's code sometimes. It doesn't mean the seed's cursed, it just means it repeats. And oftentimes that'll act, oftentimes that'll actually add some really cool things. So if you ask me, I don't think that there's anything bad about playing this world. In fact, I think it's probably even better than most survival worlds. And I should know because I've spawned in some incredible seeds. And it just seems to happen to me constantly. Whenever I start a 100 day series, I just find great spawns. Not always the best, like in the last 100 days. But I powered through in the last 100 days and I made it some, to, some pretty to some pretty good terrain generators. Not strange. I found I made some some pretty good stuff. I had pretty bad structure luck. Bro, why am I talking about this? This is so unrelated. <laughs> but I don't have anything else to talk to. The recording is still going. Okay, I finally landed. <laughs> So yeah, I was saying stuff about this. So anyway, yeah, if we fast forward a little bit, I did decide to place down a sign. So we can actually just cut out a bunch more. Actually, no, I don't want to cut it out because then it's not raw footage. I mean, we are editing everything, so it's not entirely raw. I mean, it is raw footage. It's a bunch of raw footage put together. But is that raw footage? Would you count that as raw footage? Anyway, enough with this. I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to clip it. Anyway, I went ahead and decided, Hey, this dude put down a sign saying, Hello, Entity 303. And I'm like, okay, well, when he, came back, he, he, when he came back, it said help in Swedish. At least I believe so. Now, that's what he says. But for all I know, help in Swedish could be spelled... Uh, it could be spelled banana peel or something. I didn't actually study that much on that, but we can just really just go ahead and Google translate it right now. You can do it. I'm going to do it right now. You can hear me typing. Not Spanish. Oh my goodness. What is wrong with me? Swedish. Swedish. No, I, I put Swedish. I put Swedish. Swedish. 
help it. Oh, whoa, he's not kidding. That was actually what it was. Ah! It's actually what how help is spelled. Anyway, I, I, I put down the sign, I went into the end city, and I found a, a pretty insane diamond sword in the ship. I decided to walk around and stuff, looked back at the sign, there was nothing there. And yeah, I quit. I messed around a little bit, and I rejoined. Then, it's a, then I wanted to go to a different world to do the outro part. But I was like, you know what? Why don't we just go back to that world again? And yeah, I did. Nothing happened. This sign never changed. And so yeah, basically, now it's time to tell you what I think he did. In fact, I'm fairly certain of what he did. Considering that the overworlds don't match up, I am fairly certain that this dude took a repeating terrain generating world overworld and that he spliced the two seeds together using transitions basically not spliced what am i talking about what i mean is that i th i think he took an overworld from a from a different seed entirely and he joined that overworld and recorded a bunch of footage in there and then when he went to the end he cut in this end. After all, it does seem exactly the same. I didn't go... I went way further than he did into this frame. But really, as far as I'm concerned, that has no effect. This is such a fake video. And then, nextly... Nextly, that's not a word. Anyway, next, you literally have the fact that he just went and... Like he okay, so he, the, the sign never changed, but for him, it changed to help. On top of that, he it didn't actually really prove at all that there was no one on. He turned off the multiplayer setting, but all that really shows that he did it when he started. And for all we know, that could like for all we know that, that he could have changed it himself. There is really no proof that he didn't fake like. But he, like, for all we know, he, like, like there, there, there's no way that he can prove that he did all that without doing that on a live stream or something. And he did not do that on a live stream, as far as I know. Well, perhaps I should check some live streams. And next, I want to simply just say that... Like, I looked at some of his multiplayer videos with his friends on this one particular SMP. Yeah, um, if you don't notice, I'm fairly certain every single bit of that story is staged. It is so fake. So fake. It is, like, ridiculously fake. I can't believe that, like, you, like, I can't believe anyone would believe this. In fact, I'm fairly certain there are probably t like probably thousands of people in the comments commenting, "This is so fake." If it if there aren't, then I'm going to be just amazed. There are probably little kids who are scared to go on this seed because they think entity is actually here. And then there's another thing: this seed actually does make sense for because in the thing there they said nothing about repeating overworld terrain generation. And from what I can tell, I've actually heard this story before. From what I can tell, there was nothing wrong with overworld generation. And for all I know, I don't even think they went to the nether or end. I believe this incident was completely different. And I don't know who posted this. In fact, I don't know much about this whole thing. The story I heard, heard I heard that this had real life implications. And that people actually ran away from home and stuff. But this dude didn't seem to play any of that off and stuff. Anyway, yeah, I just kind of just flashed that I don't have any multiplayer online. Which doesn't make a difference, really, I don't think. Unless Entity only appears without multiplayer. But then again, why should that make a difference? Anyway, yeah. The whole point is that all... Of Eli Stream's videos, as far as I can tell, like all the ones I actually care about, like I'm annoyed at this because this dude is going viral from what I can tell. 
I, I, I didn't know anything about this guy until like a couple months ago, and as far as I know, this dude is going viral because he's making a bunch of clickbait videos that are lies. And you know, I was actually considering checking out one of his clickbait viral things and stuff. And I noticed that that actually seems to be a common thing that you see. I'm not sure if he would fake stuff like that because it's so blatantly, stupidly obvious. I think maybe even he wouldn't have the guts to do that. But I care about it when he's lying to everyone. And you know what? He's not... The cra Actually, it's not even crazy. The, the thing is, he's not the only one doing it. In fact, Shark is doing it. The YouTuber Shark used to play around with Unspeakable and stuff. And Moose... Moose doesn't have anything to do with this stuff, as far as I know. But I've seen Shark make fake videos. He loves to troll his brother or friend or whatever with these funny mods, and I absolutely loved those. But he's also making these fake videos, and they're so blatantly fake. It's always the same thing, more or less. He acts super scared, and on top of that, he constantly just... Like, really? Uh, it's so fake. Like, I know these dudes and skins show up in his videos and stuff, but that's no real proof. He could have uh, he could have a mod disabling name tags. Like, he could do any... That could be a friend with no name tag. He could have name tags disabled or something, and we wouldn't know. All the stuff he has really done could have been done with commands. Also, that one EY stream video where he pranks everyone and stuff, that is such a fake thing. If these things were real and people found them all the time, I, I tell you, so many Minecraft players would be quitting the game, or Mojang would be probably sued and f and probably would lose the company. If these things actually existed, there would be much bigger implications than just a couple of YouTubers making these videos. There would probably be way more of these videos People would be able to live stream these sorts of things without any cuts and stuff, and then and then show these things. The fact of the matter is, these videos are so blatantly fake. Shark is definitely way better at high, at covering his trucks because he actually some of the time shows a character model. But even then, that doesn't actually prove anything. The point is, these videos are fake, and I do not want, and I will not stand for this lies and deception. So I'll sit down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. And if I don't see a change and stuff, I don't intend to stop making these videos. If I have to, I'll attack, if I have to, I intend to attack every video that I can until I get bored. Which I probably will get bored fast. So don't worry, I don't intend making these videos for much longer. Anyway, yeah, that's all. Don't forget to subscribe, because I'm intending to do more content like this. And also, maybe some more controversial content, considering I looked at, uh... I, I looked at this one Minecraft... Like, I, I made this one Minecraft video about... Hypixel isn't that bad! Yeah, that thing got over 100 views. It's just big for the channel right now, because I I, I just don't follow viral trend, trends. But yeah, that's all. I'm just to change the channel and make it better. Anyway. Toodaloo. <laughs> that was like the dumbest thing I could have said. Well, bye. Don't forget to subscribe. And like the video if you liked this. And if you enjoyed the content, then please comment and say you did. You, you liked it. Um... I gotta stop before this gets any more cringy. Okay, a couple of things. I don't know what on earth I was talking about when I said... Uh, and I said... Oh, that one where he I meant the video where he... Well, he just... Him and his friends compete. Uh, or his brothers or whatever. I don't even know what. Compete to, like... Win the... To try and find the most whatever cursed Minecraft things. It's obviously staged because you wouldn't find things like that that easily. For one thing, I literally just proved basically that the seed has nothing wrong with it other than a glitched end. So, uh, yeah. And, yeah. And also, I didn't mean to say Hypixel, I meant to say Mineville. 
Anyway, yeah, you can go watch that video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.